A weather-affected opening day saw things remain very much in the balance between Middlesex and Somerset. Two of the three sides yet to win in Division 1 met at Lords. The good news for reigning champions Middlesex was that they were also yet to lose before this encounter, having produced three draws. Visitors Somerset, however, had lost on three occasions prior to their visit to North London. After winning the toss, Somerset went straight out to have a bat. Middlesex opening bowler Toby Rowland Jones, fresh from his one day international debut, immediately enjoyed his return to the longer form of the game, removing Marcus Treskothic for just eight. Tom Abel lasted 15 minutes before Tim Murtar had him caught behind. The score was 20 for two at this point, but Dean Elgar soon managed to get into his stride. James Hildreth also began to find the boundary. But the partnership would be broken with the total on 66. Hildreth the man out, James Franklin credited with his wicket. Stephen Davis came to the crease but didn't last long. He was caught by the wicketkeeper off the bowling of Tom Helm just before lunch. Somerset not having the greatest morning at the home of cricket, 78 for 4 the score. The visitors hadn't moved the total on much after the break when Peter Trigo was out, caught behind off the bowling of Murtar for just two. Believe it or not, opener Elgar had survived most of the chaos. The South African international restored some respectability to the innings on his way to 50. Elgar then went on to lay the foundations of a good partnership with Lewis Gregory. Rain and then bad light prevented any more play. Somerset ending day one on 161 for five. So Elgar ended the day top scoring and still not out on 77. Murtar in the meantime was the pick of a solid Middlesex bowling attack, taking two for 39 off 14 overs. Both sides will resume on day two, hoping to take control.